Hey guys, it's Phaedra from All Things Phaedra, and I am in the middle of Virginia. I'm at Rutgersville, Virginia, which is the home of the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety Test Facility. You know what that's short for? Crash tests! So this is where they do a lot of the crash test ratings that you see on the insurance sites, and I'm here today with the Washington Automotive Press Association. We're going to learn all about what they do here, and hopefully we're gonna see some crash test. Now this tour is generally not available to the public. We had access, of course, because we're an Automotive Press Association, but there were several insurance groups there as well. It's kind of a teaching tool for them. They talked about the criteria that they use for their ratings, one of which is the front crash test, like you see here, and also why I'll never buy a smart car. This overlap test, which is basically an offset of the front crash, has saved numerous lives over the years. Now they also look at side crash test ratings, as you can see from this scene right here, they look at the stability of the vehicle and how much intrusion there is on the cavity of the vehicle. In the 10 years after the IIHS started doing side crash test ratings, they determined that over 4,000 people were saved as a result, which is 26% of all people who had previously died in automobile accidents. So the tests that they do, as well as the results of these tests, is really having an impact on the industry, on safety standards, and how well people are sur surviving vehicle crashes. Okay guys, this is the heart of the IIHS. This is the test facility. This is where we are going to see a vehicle being crashed today for one of their tests. Today it's going to be a 2016 Chevy Equinox and they're going to crash it into a barrier at 40 miles per hour. We're going to wait until they're ready to start and then they will start the charge countdown. Now it's going to charge up the cable that's going to pull the vehicle into the barrier. We're going to watch the crash and I'm going to show you right now. So what we just witnessed was the impact of a 2016 Chevy Equinox and what they're actually testing here today is the impact on the rear passengers. So we all watched and they have several high-speed cameras to capture everything, which is a little bit better than the footage I caught, but now we're going to go down on the floor and get a close-up look at what actually happened to the vehicle. Next up is a ride to the outside where we check out the dome. It's an all-weather structure covering five acres where they test advanced safety systems of vehicles. I'm officially under the dome, so this is another testing area here on the grounds of IIHS in Rutgersville, Virginia. And this is where they're going to test a lot of the safety features, a lot of the automated safety features like the start-stop, the lane-keep assist, and that sort of thing. So let's go check it out. So we're under the dome and we are testing the automated braking system. I'm riding in the back. Let's let's see how we go. We, we basically are going to go forward at 10 to 15 miles per hour and we are to not apply so the braking. I get really nervous and when I touch the brake is literally just lift your foot back and take it off and take it away. Oh! There you go. <laughs> So that's going to wrap up my day here at the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety and oh my god those crash videos. Did you see those? Did you see my crash video? It was so cool to watch it and it's a lot louder than you think when you're here watching it. We got to test drive a lot of the and test out a lot of the safety systems. What I walked away from this experience with is there is a lot to be taken into account when you're talking about the safety of vehicles. So. The next time you are wearing that badge of honor about how you drive a car into the ground, 
make sure you're taking safety into consideration and make sure it's worthwhile. So thanks for joining me here. I'm so excited to be here at the IIHS. It was really a unique experience. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer them as best I can. So leave me a comment. And in the meantime, if you got something out of this video, I would really appreciate a like, but more importantly, I would love if you subscribe and come back to watch my next video. And I'll see you guys next time.